Here's a clip I edited from a 2019 Ask Pastor Tim session. Tim was humble enough to clear his conscience about something he had said on the previous Tuesday. He acknowledged to us that he had affirmed something without for certain knowing if it was in fact in the Bible. This is just a good example to me of him living out Paul's words in Acts 24, 16 of always taking pains to have a clear conscience. You remember one of the questions that we had is, is it right to say that God killed Christ? And you know, we were talking about that and uh, I just felt convicted afterwards and... uh, I think I think James mentioned, um, yeah, just like the Bible says that that um, David killed Uriah. Remember when he said that, or something like that. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I said, yeah, like that. And and then James. I think James kind of put a question mark on the end of that. Like, I'm not really, like, he wasn't really sure whether it said that. And I said, yeah, it says that. Yeah, it's the kind of thing where, you know, like I'm laying in bed that night and I thought, now I didn't really know if scripture said that, but I was affirming it after James said that. Well, I got on the computer and I looked, well, it does say that. But I thought, you know, it's like a little thing that, other people they might not even notice that happens, but it just bugs your conscience. And I, and I, not only does it bug my conscience because I was affirming it when I didn't exactly know it. And so there's an honesty issue there, but even more if I'm gonna handle the word of God, I never wanna be in a position where I'm telling you that something is so when I don't really know, even if later on you look and it is so, but if I'm affirming it when I don't know it, and, and anyways, it kind of, it happened because I thought James knew, but then when he kind of put the question mark on the end and I'm affirming it, it was like, well, I shouldn't have affirmed that because I didn't know. But anyway, I wanted to hit that first. And uh, so where does it say specifically? You can look at it. It's, it's uh, 2 Samuel 12, 9, I believe. Is that it? Which you remember what David did was he basically had Joab put Uriah on the front lines and it was actually the enemies of Israel shooting from the walls who killed Uriah. And yet when the prophet Nathan comes to David, you have it there, James? You can read it. You have, you have struck down Uriah the Hittite with the sword and have taken his wife to be your wife and have killed him with the sword of the Ammon. There it is right there. You killed him. So, anyways, proves the point. But also, I just, for conscience sake, wanted to make clear that when I affirmed that, I really didn't know. Um, so, onward.